family flex. <laughs> she did this, I was happily drifting along. She was like, oh, but you're dating and this, that, and the other with all your bullshit terms. Hi, I'm Dan Q. And I'm Dan Q. And this is our review of the Zilla Villa family, family vlog. vlog. At week 15, week 16, and week 17. All rolled into one. We can try. Me back seats. She's giving casual blowjobs to a guy who works at the marketplace Nando's. It occurred to us that we were falling way behind with our reviews. Just take a look at familyvlog.co.uk. We're way out of date. And the only way we could catch up would be to team up and do them together. So here we go. These two bitter twats are in the traffic centre today. Nicola's doing nails in a car. Week 15 was the very end of Godzilla and Zara's trip to America, wasn't it? Sure was. They started early with the drinking too, with shot skis in Texas and Sarah setting off to Manchester to be a drunk idiot with Gemma. Does Gemma really need to drink to be an idiot? I think she's pretty capable of being an idiot all by herself. I am off to pick that curly slag up and then we're going to Manchester to generally be drunk idiots. You know my favourite thing about the family vlog, Dan? What's that, Dan? The subtle insights into the personalities of the people involved. There's just so much about the stars of the show that we just wouldn't find through any other medium. Like Zara being a filthy whore. It's supposed to be the best fried chicken in the South, and I liked it. Zara thought it was alright. She'd probably rather be in KFC because she's a filthy whore. And today, for our dinner, we're going to Flight Restaurant which goes on the concept of having, it's like tapas, it's like several small meals instead of one big one. So, I'll let you know how that goes. Godzilla gave a rave review of Flight Restaurant in Memphis. And it's by far the best meal I've ever eaten in my entire life. They've stripped. And I'm getting hungry. And then of course, Godzilla and Zara. <laughs> Godzilla and Zara to waited for their flight, we turned up in Preston, didn't we? Well, not both of us. You know, that would be weird. Oh, um, Becky, if I forget to mention this to you, these videos are all encoded in a slightly unusual format for you, so don't let me forget to tell you how you need to decode them or you won't be able to see this. Why don't you do that now? It's because you won't be able to see this. And of course, if that wasn't meta enough, we spent our time in Preston watching the family vlog. We also visited Sarah's new house. That's true. And heard of cats. Isn't that usually a metaphor for something impossible? And we visited Godzilla's editing studio. Where the magic yeah. happens. Yeah, the magic. It's, um... A shed? <laughs> I would say it's like, you know, um, seeing into the inner lives of your heroes to see you know, <laughs> where Godzilla actually edits yeah. the family vlog. But yeah, what you said is probably more accurate. Later, Sarah decided that watching her mother and I film one another was the weirdest sex game she'd ever played. I found that hard to believe. Didn't we learn in episode 6 when we last visited Preston that Sarah's into some kinky shit? They're into some kinky shit? Apparently. They're into dick, yeah. Uh, some kinky shit. Some kinky shit. Oh, yeah. I won't say on camera, just for Sarah's yeah, you can always, thing. You can always edit it out, that's the kind of the joy of it. Right, on to episode 16. I'm still hungry. At the start of episode 16, Godzilla returns home. We were still in Preston for that, right? Yes, well, one of us was. Sarah proposed to Godzilla, we don't drink for inappropriate family relationships, do we? Mm. There isn't enough alcohol in the world. I'm in <laughs> Did you just have a 69 hug? Yep. <laughs> But we did get to be present for Sunday dinner on a Sunday. Did we drink for that at least? No, we only drink for Sunday dinner when it's consumed on different days of the week. 
Sunday dinner on a Sunday? What? Later, Godzilla gave a speaking part to Grace and Jen, two cool stars from her class. You're going to have a speaking part this week, Grace. Okay. Hello, my name is Grace. <laughs> You're going to hate yourself for that later. Yeah, don't put it on. Don't put it on. It will be that on. was a joke. It will be on. Film Jen from hey. the angle of the snail. Grace is my favourite character on the entire show. Hm, I prefer Jen. In any case, I'm sure we can say that both agree that they're better developed characters than Jen or Zara, right? We just went to have our first try at archery. Archery. I really liked it. <laughs> Mum's decided it's not really for her. Godzilla and her mother give archery a go. Yeah, but they had some difficulty recording their review of the experience. They sure did. Oh, it again. on now. I can't get it off. On the thing that's attaching it to the window. This. I've got somebody talking in my study. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Stop it, alright. The family provides three word reviews for how I live now. Three words? Yeah. Um. Let me give me a second. Mum? Whoops. Oh. And um, bomb. Right? Counting to three should not be that hard. Whoopsie. Okay. And the hysteria almost causes a car crash. I'm playing with this pretend hand. Later, Godzilla and Grace go to a beautician trade show to see how hand jobs are given by professionals, right? Grace bought a shit ton of stuff while all I did was eat chocolate strawberries. And I think that's an accurate depiction of what happened, really. Right, on to week 17. Which opens with Sarah, Gemma and Godzilla going shopping. Godzilla attends home early to listen to a podcast. What a badass. But Sarah announces that she and Gemma are going to stay out late and have sex. Me and Gemma are going to stay out for a long time and we're going to have sex. Do they mean with each other? Right in the anus. To her While at the bar, the girls read out a soppy letter that was written to Sarah on rainbow paper. Macho. I don't really have much of a clue as to what's changed your mind since Tuesday because I was pretty... This goes on for a while. Let's skip ahead. I'm still here. I'm still here. Sarah's here. Wait, I've got a new favourite character. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Grace is still the one for me. Home with five minutes to spare. Oh yeah. Godzilla and Gemma go to Nando's. And we learn that Gemma loves the black cock. Can you get black cock at Nando's? I don't remember seeing that on the menu. She's a dirty, dirty girl. And she loves black cock. And then Sarah turns up. And then things get embarrassing. Beautiful face. The people in the restaurant staring at each other. Beautiful face. Doesn't get louder. Beautiful <laughs> And then, in the bathroom. I didn't like get in the bath and like go fetal. Should we get in the bath together? Uh, oh my god, that would be so funny. I don't think we can both fit in the bath and I'm not done having a bath yet. I'll okay, get in the bath. Yeah, okay, I get your point about not drinking for inappropriate family relationships. So do you want to explain to the camera why we're using this camera and not the GoPro whilst I ploughed into the nearest oncoming traffic? Later, Godzilla lost her GoPro. Oh no! Indeed, I got used to the high def footage. She lost all the footage too, bother. We went to Scare Kingdoms, I had my GoPro in my pocket um, and I didn't know but at one point you do have to lie down on your back. My GoPro fell out of my pocket and when I went to go and put it back the scare actor went to grab my hand and knocked my camera out my 
hand um my gopro and when i explained to the guy afterwards one of the people that worked there what had happened um he said oh well you're not allowed cameras here it's your own fault basically i said yeah i know i understand that it's just a very valuable camera could you go and look for me uh he went to look they went to look they said they couldn't find it um and i could email them i emailed them the first guy who emailed me back was perfectly polite the second guy was less polite um uh, it looks like I'm not getting it back. Sarah comes up with a new nickname for Richard. Richard McFisty is a new nickname. And again, I find myself doubting that watching uh, her mother and I film one another is the weirdest sex game she's ever experienced. <laughs> I bad thing your funny juice. Huh? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because the funny's connected. <laughs> yeah, if we're like... Maybe it's because we're water scissors. It's like when we're both naked around each other for too long, we get yeah. really giddy. And again, inappropriate family relationships. I'm quite glad we weren't drinking for that. We water scissors, we fucked this shit. Water scissors. And that's just for both of us in your right now, because we know it's going to happen. Yeah, there goes my appetite. Hold on. So there we are, our review of episodes 15, 16, and 17. You don't think that was a lazy way for us to do this review, do you? No, you and I put a lot of work in. People will understand. Cousins having sex. Want a hand job? Yeah, okay then. We hope you enjoyed this review of Godzilla Huntley's family vlog episodes 15 through 17. But the fun doesn't have to stop here. No sorry. If you click up there, you can see episode 15. And if you click over there, you can watch episode 16. Or over there for episode 17. Or you can click on us and see our review of episode 14, parts 1 and 2. There's a secret bonus feature in this episode, you know. Really? Where do I click for that? It's true. Recently I performed a bonus interview with the star of Godzilla's family vlog. I think I know the one you mean. The Dawn. Yeah, if you want to see it, just wait for us to disappear and then click right here. Ta-ta! See you! I'm here on location with Sarah from <laughs> Godzilla Huntley's family vlog. Um, for, an, for a surprise interview that I've arranged for this purpose. Be Sarah. Can you tell me about what it's like to be in Godzilla Huntley's family vlog?